The Patriot missile system is necessary for Ukraine, and not only that, it is one of the most effective surface-to-air missile defense systems in the world currently. Of course, if any of y'all have been watching major news headlines around the internet, or if you watch my channel, you just found out that the Patriot missile defense system is finally going through its last bits of effort to be sent into Ukraine. This was known about a week and a half ago that this would happen. It was just a question of how many would be sent and who was going to end up sending them. It was either going to be Germany or the United States. But at this point, we now know that the United States is actually going to be sending its own Patriot missile defense systems to Ukraine. And not only that, Poland is accepting Patriot missile defense systems from Germany as well, meaning that both Poland and Ukraine will now have access to the Patriot missile defense system. But what's important to talk about is how effective is the Patriot and why is it really important for Ukraine to have these? Of course, many of y'all, and it's become widely known that the Russians use missile attacks, crews and ballistic missile attacks, to target Ukraine's key infrastructure along with their civilian areas and inflict as much damage and deaths as possible. This is something that Ukraine hasn't really had a great defense to, and the best that they've been able to provide is either normal anti-aircraft guns such as a 30 millimeter zsu gun a shilka maybe a couple of tunguskas and maybe some man pads as well although shooting down cruise missiles with man pads is something you can't really rely on a lot the united states also provided at this point around four nasams medium range anti-air defense systems which have been able to shoot down a decent amount of cruise missiles but are not the best in terms of being able to shoot them down the patriot takes that i guess you could say slot by a long mile especially in terms of what the west is able to provide the patriot had a very rough start as a matter of fact it wasn't actually the best system that was introduced during the gulf war it was largely Kind of questionable, actually. In the initial onset, the United States military said that the accuracy of a Patriot missile defense system was around 80%, but later on, that actually got scaled down to around 70 to 65% because the numbers had originally been inflated due to false reports of being able to shoot down missiles, but the missiles were only partially shot down and still made it to their target. This meant that the United States needed to start working on these missiles a little bit more, and considering that that was 1991, the Patriots now now come a long way. Even during the 2003 invasion of Iraq, the Patriot missile defense system had been completely upgraded. Instead of using Pac-1 and Pac-2 missiles, which is what these missiles are being referred to as Pac-1 and Pac-2, you can kind of view this as the Mark 1 and Mark 2 versions. Every single one of them is an improvement over the other as the number increases. And as we saw during the 2003 invasion of Iraq, Pack 2s and Pack 3s were being used, and at this point, only the Pack 2s and Pack 3s are available to be used by anyone in the world. The Pack 1s have been completely discontinued. And according to the numbers that we got during the Iraq War, the Pack 2s and the Pack 3s did incredibly well. The Pack 3s were, uh, were able to inter intercept two Iraqi Scuds and were able to shoot them both down completely. That's because the Pack 3 actually uses a hit to kill mode instead of a explosive just detonating in the vicinity of whatever it's trying to hit and hopefully shooting it down there so the pack 3 has a lot of accuracy and ability to shoot down weapons more so than the pack 2 or the pack 1 we also saw that in the invasion of iraq the army attempted seven intercepts with the pack 2s and shot down all targets that were intercepted also, another thing that's very important to note, and while this is a little bit more of a tragic tale to the Patriots and their use in the invasion of Iraq, the Patriots were able to shoot down a British Tornado fighter and an F-18 Hornet, killing three pilots. That means one pilot from the F-18 Hornet and the two pilots that would have been in the British Tornado. And while that is a little bit unfortunate to think that friendly fire did occur with the Patriot system, one thing that you can get on a positive note from this is that the Patriot missile defense system is so successful in its hit rate and so good in its accuracy that not even the highly advanced British Tornado and the F-18 Hornet could try and dodge the fire from this Patriot, most specifically the Pac-2. Twos, I believe. It, it doesn't really make it clear in this article whether it was the Pack 2s or the Pack 3s that shot down these aircraft, but regardless, the Patriot did shoot them down. And so if you can get that from a Pack 2 and a Pack 3, it's safe to assume that it would be easy to shoot down Russian aircraft of all varieties. And not only that, 
ballistic and cruise missiles, which mostly travel at somewhat slower speeds than these aircraft. A cruise missile or a ballistic missile usually travels around the range of 450 to 550 miles per hour. And if a Pac-2 or a Pac-3 is able to shoot down a near supersonic aircraft in flight, probably conducting very high speed and high turn maneuvers as well, it can definitely shoot down a straight line 450 to 550 mile per hour cruise missile that we would be seeing used in Ukraine right now. Not only that, but after the invasion of Iraq, it even got more testing in the field, more use that shows that these things are highly effective. In 2014, Israel used these missiles to destroy two Hamas drones, two Syrian drones, and a Syrian Su-24. And Su-24 is also one of the aircraft that we've seen the Russians using to a small degree. It's one of their, I guess you could say, Frontline bombers, in a way, more like their frontline attack aircraft, and you can see a picture of it right here. And if it's able to shoot down a Syrian model, which is largely, at least at the beginning of the conflict around 2014, fairly up to date with Russian standards, it should be able to shoot down Russian Air Force SU-24s over Ukraine as well. And reading through it a little bit more, we can even see that it intercepted more Syrian drones and another SU-24 in 2018. So we can see that the Patriot Missile Defense System, while having a little bit of a rocky start in the beginning of its history, has become a very solid air defense platform now, able to hit small things such as drones, able to shoot down small rockets and missiles being launched from the areas of Palestine and the Gaza Strip. It's been able to do a whole bunch. And so that's why it's been such a massive deal up to this point to have Patriot Missile Defense Systems sent to Ukraine, and that is also why it's become big news now. These systems are also not cheap as well. They're actually quite expensive, and considering that the United States is going to be sending some of these, we know for certain that these systems will be doing an incredibly good job. In case of y'all don't know, we can actually pull up the cost of a Patriot Missile Defense System. Cost of a Patriot Missile... And we can see that a Patriot system costs one to six million dollars. I'm assuming that's based off of whether it's a Pac-1 or a Pac-3 model. So we know that if it's based off of that figure, that it would be more so up towards the probably four to six million dollar range for a Pac-2 or a Pac-3. And that's actually not that bad. I'm sitting. I'm sorry. I had to sit there for a second and think about that. That is not bad at all, and it looks like. Um, actually, a Patriot is around $3 million, and I'm assuming that once again is around a Pac-2 or a Pac-3, considering Pac-1s are no longer made or used. So, we can get a really good idea that while these things can somewhat be expensive, they will be able to shoot down a mass amount of the cruise missiles that are coming in with a 100% success rate off of previous history, and that they are a necessary addition to Ukraine's air defense systems, because it can counter anything on Earth. If it flies, it can be shot down, and the Patriot will do that job well. And that is why it's very important to see these enter the country, and also incredibly important that we continue to supply the missiles that these Patriot launchers will need to continue doing their work. Based off of the success rate of these Patriots, and if a Patriot was used to engage every cruise and ballistic missile that was ever launched in Ukraine, there would never be a cruise missile that would land onto its target again and either destroy electrical infrastructure, water infrastructure, gas infrastructure, or hit civilian buildings. Ukraine would pretty much have a massive shield over it for the rest of the war that the Russians wouldn't be able to penetrate, unless if they used artillery or something similar to try and take out the Patriot, which would be pretty tough to do considering they probably won't be that close to the front lines ever. And so now y'all can see, and I hope this explains why, the Patriot Missile Defense System is a great deal for Ukraine, and hopefully we'll see these things on the line, conducting great activities, and able to shoot down a massive load of aircraft. And with that, I hope I've explained why this is all important. I thank you all so much once again for watching. If y'all enjoy these video projects, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also share this with your friends, and... If you would like to see more of these, make sure to support us on Patreon, because Patreon supports us continuing to make video projects like these. And so with that, I'll see you all in the next one, and thank you all once again for watching.